Okay, so I know that people normally do like a Sunday reset, but Sunday I taught class. And also I have been loving teaching classes. So today we're going to do a Monday reset of my office. Let me show you all what we're working with because it's scary in here. It's evidence that I've been creating, which is yay, wonderful. I love that for us. But also, god damn, can I put something away? Whew. Okay, so this is a semi-fresh cup of coffee. Like, I made it an hour ago. I'm still drinking it. But, like, look at my table. This is my prep for the quilt along that I'm doing. Then down here, this is, like, scraps as well as new fabric. And I mean, like, why does my desk look like this? New fabric that needs to be pre-washed. These are just, like, empty bags. This is from the weekend because I had to bring clothes with me because I was coaching track and then I had to go and teach classes, books that I was using I didn't put back right, my debt, like my sewing space, clothes that I've taken off because of course you know you strip while you're sewing. Then my dress form, I moved her so that she would be backdrop for my TV show. Again, empty bags clothing that I've made and like things that just need to be put away. Like it's, well, let's just get a good look on the floor here. It's bad. It is bad. So if you're like ever looking at yourself and you're like, oh my goodness, my office is a mess. I want you to remember that time that Veronica showed you her space and it being a mess too. So we're going to do a Sunday reset or a Monday reset instead of a Sunday reset. Um, but first thing is first is I'm going to go refresh my cup of coffee because Lord knows we need a little bit of energy for this. So the first thing that I'm going to do is go ahead and pre-wash my fabrics. I'm not someone who does not pre-wash their fabrics. If you're wondering why, check out this video here where I go into detail about the reasons why I pre-wash my fabrics and why you will not catch me wearing unwashed fabrics or clothing, if I'm being completely honest. So let's go ahead and do that. Um... It's a lot of fabric. I'm probably not going to end up, uh, of course, like, I'm not going to end up washing it all together, but it could at least be in my, like, in my laundry room, you know? So I'm going to take all this in. Look at this denim. Denim is so good. Okay, so I've got this. I'll come back for that. In just a second I gotta get the rest of these gotta get the rest of these clothes I mean the rest of these fabrics these are on the floor not sure where my son's tablet is in here though so I this is gonna be a pile of things that need to go upstairs to my bedroom okay and this is an actual scrap So this is the last of all the fabrics that have to be pre-washed, <coughs> so, which is excellent.
feeling like we're in a much better position as far as office being clean goes. <laughs> Nailed it. Um, <clears throat> so at this point in time, we've cleaned the desk area. We've cleaned the machine area. We've actually straightened up this tabletop, my cutting table area. But what I've been doing lately, it has been just randomly dumping things into the two baskets that I have on top of here that are completely unrelated to sewing, completely unrelated to cutting. So now at this point in time, I'm actually going to go ahead and pull everything out and sort through those things. Okay, so let's go ahead and pull out the smaller basket. Why? Because I don't know if I'm ready to start big. Also, if you're a content creator, this here thing is really cool because it allows you to be able to use your phone and be hands-free and record. I'll drop a link to this because I feel like it's really useful. Whenever I'm sewing live, one of the questions that I get asked is, hey, can we see what you're doing? This has made it so that I can show people what I'm doing. Um, that's why this is out. So I like to keep this stored on my dress form. It does have a spot. Proud of myself for that. So let's take a look at what is in this first basket, okay? It's gonna angle y'all down because wow. So let's see what we have in here. First up is this cord, which I do absolutely need. This is a cord that I use to protect my camera right here to um, whatever it is that I'm taking this off. Like the, I did another video and it's just too large to, to work, but zippers, I have a spot for that. Oh, and this is a keychain. It's a <coughs> scissor keychain. All right, so we've got this. Oh, I've got to put that on. Okay, so the, this was the biggest waste of money. This is that paper shoot camera. Super cute, but who was actually using it? Not me. I love the idea. It is just not practical for me. I've got Apple Watch bands. This needs to go upstairs. Like this is a go upstairs pile to my room. I'm going to put, so these are the um, pattern weights that I got from Abby. Abby makes stuff. I'll put that link in the, um, the caption as well because I love those so much. But I really want this area to be used for pattern weights as well as um, like things related to that. What is this? Fine French laces. Yeah, I bought some fabric from her when I was out at um, So Expo, pattern weights. I don't know what this is. Definitely not going to throw it away though because you never know. These right here are all like situatory heat bonds. Um, <clears throat> I like to use those for whenever I am, for whenever I am, um, of course doing like things that I'm going to be doing like memory hems for, oh man. Yeah. I totally thought my daughter stole all these little fabric snips that I have. I need to apologize to her because look, I found them all. These I like to keep by my desk. So I'm going to move those over there in just a second. And then I have a bunch of these rotary cutter um, replacement blades. So this is the proper area for those. Oh, my favorite seam ripper. This needs to go with those fabric shears. These are pens. This is a cream lip liner. Does not need to be there. These need to be at my desk. So put that over there. Okay. So my heat and bonds can be over here. My marking tools, like my Taylor's chalk, they can be over here. Obviously my um, pattern weights can be in here, but why do I have this clip in here, right? Um, this is like a foundation that is not even my color, so tossing that. I don't need this in here. This needs to be with the rest of my buttons. Also, I discovered that your girl might be a button hoarder. I'm pretty sure this is the perfume that I gave my daughter. It is. It smells very strong though. It doesn't belong in here. This ruler does belong in here. One of my favorite pens does not belong in here. And of course this Lego man does not belong in here. Um, so I'm going to leave this as a spot for, these are my daughter's earrings. I got her for her birthday. I don't know why those are in there. Okay, so let's put our stitch witchery back in here because it belongs. My rose quartz crystal does not belong. Pattern weights belong I 
And I do also want to leave space for this in here as well. This specifically because I don't like for this to just be out and about on my table. Um, because it's magnetic, it's going to attract a whole bunch of things that I don't necessarily want it to. So I'm going to put my pattern weights in here. And then we've got chalk that does belong in here. I also like to use uh, washi tape as well. Great sewing tool. Um, so that can go in there. I'm not going to put my rotary cutters in there um, because I have a better place for those. All right, so our first one is done. And I also have this Moo Moo Cow like, vacuum cleaner in here. This belongs at my desk, so it's going to go with the desk pile. So let's go on to this next one. Also, I've got all these hair ties belong upstairs, so it goes with the upstairs pile. And this is a card that... Um, Stephanie sent me. I love this. I don't get rid of cards either. So whatever. All right. So these are my sewing snacks. So these actually go on the table next to me. And then I got these really cool like wonder clip, wonder pins, not to be confused with wonder clips. When I was out at Sew Expo. So I got to find a spot for those. Okay. So here's our next basket. These are hair ties that we sell in my store, so I'm not sure why those are in here. So those will go back to the store. This is, of course, stitch witchery that kind of got pulled apart. It's fine. I'm going to put that with the rest of that. Oh, this is a, this brush is really cool. I haven't used it on my cats yet, but I got it for them. Empty tape dispenser. This is trash. I'm actually kind of looking for all of my trash right now because that's really what I would like to focus on pulling out. Um, these are sponges, super cool. Um, my lace, I've got a spot for this, belongs in my drawer. More snacks. Oh gosh, see like it's, it's this table and I was looking for my mic. Could not find my mic for the, for the I could not figure out where it was. Okay, this basket's gonna take a little bit longer, so let me pause this for one second and empty out the trash that is in my hands because, my goodness, it's a lot of trash in my hands. This is a chalking marker, so I'm gonna put that with that one, but let's empty out. Oh, wow, I've been looking for these. Okay, let's empty this out. So that first handful of trash is now gone. And so this was like an old yogurt cup and I like to have clips separated because of course you need them. Oh, am I remote for my light? I've been looking for that too. <sighs> yeah, what is life right now? Trash, trash. I know it's in here. It's not trash, but... This right here is our my um, wrinkle spray. I love that. Okay, so let me empty out my hands again. Okay, now I've got like, these are threads that are from my collection with Aurafil, so I'm gonna put them away. Put the threads away. Threads going away. Okay, threads are away. So now I have a bunch of my rotary cutters. I do want my rotary cutters in this bin, but we gotta finish emptying it out first. I've got more pattern weights. So I wanna pull out all of my pattern weights and put them in, of course, our pattern weight bin. I love it when, of course, all of my things you know, go in the proper position, proper place so that it's a lot easier for me whenever I'm sewing. These pattern weights are from Raven. They're so pretty. And then I have a smaller, yeah, I don't know why I got these tiny, um, I do not know why I got these tiny pins. Um, I, I want to say that they're probably 
better for, let's put these over here. And actually I might just decide, I think I'm gonna have to pull out my magnetic pins because I simply don't have enough space in there now that I've got the rest of these pattern weights in here. Which is fine, it's okay, we'll find another spot for it. Okay, so got those all out. I don't want this in here because yeah, I'm not trying to stick my hand in there and die. Um, I'm going to put all of these. These need to go someplace else because I don't want them in there. This is the, um, the plate that I used to kind of like clear off my, my, um, cutting mat. So in my, I already know where this one is, this seam ripper. So let's put that where that one belongs. Oops, dang, now it fell. Oh well, I'll get it another time. Okay, so I have all of these. If you're like, Aronico, what are those? These are the connectors for my Aliso wool mats. So I'm gonna put those to the side because I'm actually gonna put those on my Aliso, um, on my Aliso mats. That is some more washi tape. Okay, so I have some of these items. And so I've got these hooks that are on my my cart that I think I'm going to move over here. Okay, so we have done a reset of the room. So let me go ahead and turn you all around so that you can kind of see what things are looking like now, which are way better. Starting with my desk space, way clearer. I filled up one of the trashy bags, so I've got to print off my label to go ahead and get that done. These are some just like hair accessories that I had either upcycled from some, um, some deliveries that I've gotten. Like I've got a ribbon that I got from just like a recent book that I got. Then we have this corner over here, which y'all was looking atrocious. We put all of the books back in place. As you can see, I've got all of my big books from um, Bernina up there. Then we did go ahead and clear off this space. As you can see, I put all of my little scissors away. And I love how I have my thing for clips over here. And then of course, lighting incense, because that's a signal that the cleaning has, has happened. Um, and then again, I put my neck like tripod situation up here. This is a pattern that I'm currently working on. I've got to make some edits too. So that's why that's up there. Put things away over here. This is a pile of fabric that I do have to go through next. That is another day for another time. And then the biggest thing of course, being that yes, this tabletop is clear, but most importantly, this is organized inside of each of my little bins here. Today's today's big thing for me was organizing that tabletop area behind me, namely because I felt like it was really getting out of control, out of hand. Um, all of my fabrics are currently washing, so that means that once they're done washing, I can fold them and either put them in my big bin, my big basket over here, that's kind of overflowing. We gotta sew some of those fabrics or I can put them away in outside storage. So with that, I'm gonna go ahead and conclude this video. Um, and if you're like, huh, I feel like I'm not alone because my space looks like this. Here's the thing, as a creative, having your space always clean is not necessary, especially if you are in the process of working in there and creating and crafting. So let this just be something that normalizes how normal crafting spaces look. If you are someone who cleans up as you go, drop a comment and teach us the ways, right? Because again, we're not here to judge those who are who are actually very, very neat as they create. Um, but don't gatekeep. Share some pointers with the rest of us, okay? With that, I hope you all have a fantastic rest of your week and happy sewing. And remember to keep it positive, stay kind, and create beautiful things.